Ah, the smell of cheap beer, asteroid dust, and gratuitous BO can only mean one thing. Outer space finally started hosting Earth sports. Though, something is telling me they haven't quite figured out how to deal with anti-gravity. No matter, because we're here for the only important part of any sports ball game. The tailgate. You can think of these ships that are tailgating next to one another as neighboring eukaryotic cells. Yep, we're here to cover the specialized regions of contact between the plasma membranes of adjacent cells. That is, intercellular junctions. The three intercellular junctions we're going to detail here are gap junctions, tight junctions, and desmosomes. First up, gap junctions, which we've depicted by the gap between these first two ships. Gap junctions are channels that allow for the direct diffusion of ions, water, and other small molecules between neighboring cells. Which is why some watered-down beer and salty sodium peanuts are being passed between these two neighboring ships. And it looks like these two are more than just neighbors. Love is in the air. Literally. These hearts floating above their heads should remind you that gap junctions are really important for cardiac muscle. You see, heart cells need to contract and relax in unison. Well, it's gap junctions that allow for the speedy transmission of electrical signals between cells that cause the rhythmic contractions of the heart. Now, this doesn't mean that gap junctions are only found in cardiac tissue. Uh, they're actually found all over the body. But cardiac muscle cells are a classic example of cells that really rely on gap junctions in order to do their job. The next intercellular junction we're going to cover is depicted by this guy in an extra, extra small spacesuit. I mean, that thing is tight. Tight for tight junctions. Tight junctions consist of proteins that form barriers between cells, which is why this guy is putting up a barrier between his and his neighbor's ships. The purpose of tight junctions is to keep liquid from moving from one cell to another. This allows a layer of cells to act as an impermeable barrier. So where are tight junctions found? Well, the whole impermeable barrier thing should give you a bit of a hint. They're found between cells of the epithelium and endothelium. Think about it. You wouldn't want liquid to just seep out of your intestinal tract or blood vessels willy-nilly. An impermeable barrier is pretty important for tissue lined with epithelial cells. And it's certainly important for endothelial lined blood vessels. Anyway, to remind you that tight junctions are located between endothelial and epithelial cells, this blood vessel looking space seal has brought along his favorite tailgating snack. Plants that are oddly reminiscent of epithelial cells. The last intercellular junction that we'll cover are desmosomes, which you can remember with these destroyed spacecrafts. Desmosomes are anchoring junctions that connect neighboring cells, and they're depicted here by the chain connecting these two destroyed ships. Tissues that experience high mechanical stress like tissues of the heart, bladder, GI mucosa, and epithelia have a lot of desmosomes because desmosomes protect the integrity of the tissue by holding cells together. And nothing says high mechanical stress like these two ships that poorly navigated the asteroid belt. All right, we're all done. Tune in next time to find out if the Andromeda comets or the Milky Way meteors took the W for the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. In anti-gravity football, everyone loses. Later.